What if the universe has been whispering a secret all along? Not with thunder, not with stars exploding or galaxies colliding, but in the tiniest shift of a particle. In the silent space between cause and effect. What if the greatest mystery of existence isn't out there among the stars, but in the way reality itself bends ever so slightly when no one's watching? And what if someone, long ago, left behind a clue? Alan Turing. A name often spoken in the context of war and machines. The man who cracked the Enigma Code and shortened World War II by years. The pioneer who laid the foundation for modern computing. But there's a part of Turing's legacy that few ever talk about. His obsession with patterns. With life itself. With the mathematics that underlie not just computers, but consciousness, biology, and maybe even the cosmos. Turing once asked, what if everything that exists is just information flowing through the universe like code through a machine? What if nature is just computation? And now, years later, as scientists explore the fabric of the universe, they're starting to notice something they can't quite explain. Something that doesn't fit. For decades, physics has been held together by four fundamental forces. Gravity, the gentle pull that holds planets in orbit and gives us weight. Electromagnetism, the force behind light, electricity, magnetism. Then there's the strong nuclear force, the glue that holds protons and neutrons together. And the weak nuclear force, responsible for radioactive decay, for the way elements transform. Together, these four forces have been enough to explain everything from why the sun shines to why your microwave works. But now, something's off. At first, it was just noise in the data. Small deviations in particle experiments. Tiny inconsistencies in results that should have been predictable. Electrons behaving strangely when fired through electromagnetic fields. Muons, heavier cousins of the electron, drifting from expected paths. Nothing big. Nothing publishable. Just whispers. But over time, the whispers grew louder. Scientists noticed that no matter how precise the setup, how isolated the environment, these anomalies kept appearing. At first, they blamed equipment. Then statistical error. But eventually, they had to ask the unthinkable. Is there a fifth force at play? Some began calling it a protophobic force, one that doesn't like protons. Others suggested it might be a new kind of quantum field, one that interacts only under specific conditions. But no theory fit neatly until someone dusted off an old set of mathematical models. Not from a physics lab. From a wartime mathematician, Alan Turing. See, Turing didn't just build the first computers. He also studied morphogenesis, how shapes and patterns form in biology. He believed that even the spots on a leopard or the spiral of a seashell could be predicted using mathematical rules. He believed that life, and perhaps even thought, could be simulated. Modeled understood. Researchers started plugging the strange particle data into algorithms inspired by Turing's statistical pattern detection. And something clicked. The noise wasn't random. It had structure. There was a pattern hidden in the chaos. This so-called fifth force didn't just push or pull like the others. It danced. It adapted. In one experiment, Particles exposed to this field changed direction just milliseconds before the change in the experimental conditions occurred. As if they knew what was coming. Then came the really weird part. When the experimenters themselves were monitored, their brain waves, heart rates, even their attention, correlations emerged. The force seemed stronger when observed. Not just the classic quantum observer effect, but something deeper. The fifth force seemed to respond to awareness. To thought. It wasn't mind reading. It wasn't magic. But it hinted at something ancient, an idea buried in philosophy and mysticism, that reality may be influenced by consciousness. More tests followed. In one, computers ran simulations of the field without human oversight. No anomaly. But when a person watched the simulation in real time, the patterns emerged again. The field reacted. Or maybe, it interacted. Some researchers propose the unthinkable. What if the universe contains a built-in feedback mechanism? A kind of cosmic echo chamber, where information isn't just processed but reflected. Where observation shapes the observed. Not because the universe knows, but because information itself is fundamental, 
and Turing may have been the first to grasp that. Imagine a force that doesn't just hold things together, but responds to the act of being known, not conscious in the way we are, but responsive, interactive, not a god force, not a spirit, but a silent handshake between matter and meaning. And suddenly, everything we don't understand starts to make a strange kind of sense. Dark matter, the invisible stuff holding galaxies together, might not be matter at all. It could be this fifth force, hugging galaxies like a ghostly net. Dark energy, the thing accelerating the expansion of the universe, might not be a separate thing either. It could be the fifth force at scale, stretching space itself in response to cosmic change. And the cosmic microwave background, the faint afterglow of the Big Bang, contains patterns, too. Ripples. Hints of structure. When fed into Turing's morphogenesis algorithms, new symmetries appear. Not chaos. Not randomness. Something designed, or at least, something patterned. We're not saying the universe is alive. But maybe it's aware, in its own strange way. Maybe it's not a cold, empty machine, but a kind of interactive process. And maybe, just maybe, the fifth force is the bridge between information and energy between thought and thing, between Alan Turing's final question and the deepest mysteries of reality. The man who saw code in everything might have seen the truth long before the rest of us. And now, we're finally starting to understand the code.